What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome to Air of Light. Now, this game is quite the sight to behold and like you guys know, I've played a ton of hero collectors in my day and I have to tell you, graphically and artistically, Air of Light is probably one of the best hero collectors on mobile that I've ever seen. Um, it doesn't just stop at the graphics either, the production values as well, the presentation, the soundtrack, oh my God, the soundtrack is epic. It feels like it belongs in like a Castlevania game. That's how good the soundtrack is in this game. Um, but you guys know what I always say, a hero collector is only as fun as the heroes that you can collect. So let's take a look at those, shall we? Um, this game is currently in closed beta, um, so you can play it, but the closed beta ends tomorrow. Um, but after that, we should get an idea of when the open beta, soft launch, global launch, whatever comes next. We should have a better idea in the coming days. Um, only play this game now if you don't care about your progress being wiped. I do care. Um, but let's take a look at this. So first things first, you have main characters in this game, so you can actually select a main character and switch them on the fly once you unlock them. Um, so right now I'm using this fairy mage girl. Um, you can also switch to this uh, dual wielding barbarian man here. And then of course there are others, um, hold on, sorry. There are others here that unlock over time. So I can kind of give you an idea of what they look like here. Um, can I recruit her now? No, I need 319. Um, no, I need 3,000 gems to unlock her. So the later heroes are gonna require gems to actually recruit after you defeat a certain chapter. Um, so that's what they look like there. And here are all of the different. Um, but when I hit level 20, I can recruit that master. All right, all right, all right. Let me get out of here. But that's what all of the main characters look like so far. Um, and then of course you can also collect heroes as well. Um, so here is a kind of a glimpse of what the heroes look like. Look at the detail on this guy. That is a good looking barbarian right there. Um, Belladonna's here, Archer, looking good. This abomination of death and hell. <laughs> Very cool, and just a cute wolf. Just a, a cute green wolf. Um, this girl looks a little out of place, but whatever. And then we have this little devil dude. <laughs> Very, very cool. So let's jump into combat so I can show you what this game is really all about here. So we're gonna go over to the world map. Now, like I said, I just gave this game a bunch of props when it comes to presentation and production values. I think they overdid it on the world map. This world map is like convoluted for no reason. Like, let me show you what's going on here. So when you see a sword, that means I haven't completed the stage yet or I haven't gotten all three stars on the stage yet. Um, so these little tiles here that you see that don't have a sword, as you can see, I've completed them and I've gotten three stars. I mean, I guess, but I think it's just trying to be different for the sake of being different. It doesn't really add anything to the game at all, in my opinion. So I'm not really sure why they went that route, but that's what they did. So I can easily go here and say, all right, I want to go and try to finish off my three stars here. So let's go to this stage here. This is actually a pretty difficult stage. Um, just like in typical uh, hero collector fashion, there is an elemental system. Um, so, you know, fire beats green, water beats uh, fire, that type, uh, that type of thing. And of course you wanna bring characters that have uh, elemental bonuses towards what you're fighting. Um, but in this case, I don't really have a lot of uh, powerful backup characters. So I'm gonna have to use some characters here that don't have uh, elemental advantages. So let me shut up. Isn't this freaking soundtrack epic? And this is not the only battle score. There are multiple different soundtracks for battle. Um, very, very impressive. They're all super high quality. Now, when you first play this game, you might be a little confused at how bullet spongy the enemies are. And I know there's no bullets, but stick with me. The reason why is because this game has no trash mobs. No trash mobs whatsoever. Every fight, every encounter in the game is your team versus a boss. That is how this game works. No, like, you know, typical hero collectors, you fight a bunch of trash mobs, you fight a mini boss, you fight some trash mobs, and then you fight a boss. That's not how it works. Everything that you do in this game is you versus a boss. Um, so we just took him down, but I don't think I three-starred that one. I think I needed to do something a little bit extra to get the three-star. Let me check. Nope, there's my three-star there. 
And once I complete this stage up here and get a three star in this one, I'll actually have this sword removed. Um, but that's basically how the game works as far as combat is concerned. Everything is a boss rush. Everything is pretty. Uh, let's do this wolf looking dude here. <clears throat> let me show you a little bit more of combat here so you can get an idea. Let me shut up one more time. Different soundtrack. Like, this is some epic level stuff here. <laughs> All right. So there are two different things that you can do in combat versus these bosses here. Um, you can go after the boss, or there's a tower in the background, as you can see over here. I'll try to get the camera to move over there. There's a tower in the background that actually provides buffs as well. So I haven't r run into too many instances, and like I said, this is a closed beta, so I haven't, I didn't really go ham here, um, but I didn't run into really too many instances where I had to kill the tower first before I could kill the boss, um, but I could definitely see that type of thing in the future as well. Um, all of your characters have two abilities plus a combo, which I'll show you here in a second. Here it is, here's my combo ability. So your creatures will basically combo off of your main character. And of course they have their two basic attacks as well. Um, my little fire dude is my basic tank up front. So that's why he's up there just holding it down for us. Whose combo is coming next? My main character? Um, my wolf. No, I don't think I'm going to have... He's not going to have enough HP to show you my wolf combo here. And down goes the boss. So a very inter interesting twist on hero collector combat here. Um, so that is that, it's got my level up. Let's jump back to the lobby here and we'll show you more about the character. So this game uses one of my, my least favorite upgrade systems. Oh, I hate this system so much. It came from Summoner's War and I don't know, I don't know why people copy this upgrade system when it comes to, to runes, but it's this, it's this system right here. It's like, just, just make it happen instantly. Why do I have to sit here and wait for it to, to enhance up. And why do I have to keep on clicking it over and over and over? Like, let me just enhance, let me just enhance it five times. Let it just happen. I don't, I don't understand why I have to sit here and watch this go up and down. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense to me. I, I don't like it. Um, this is the same system that you see in games like Summoner's Wars and uh, Monster Super League. I don't like it. Don't like it. Just seems like a waste of time. It's an even bigger waste of time when you're at the low levels where it's guaranteed to be successful. So you have to sit here 10 times doing this. For what reason? Like, what is the reason behind here? I'm not like sitting on the edge of my seat like, oh my God, I hope it works. I hope it works. Like, take this out. This is dumb. This makes no sense. Let me hit enhance. Tell me, if it, tell me if it's successful or not. Let's just skip to the chase here. So you will spend a lot of time in the rune system trying to upgrade all your runes because you get them at white. They can go from green, they can go to blue. I'm sure they can go to purple and so on and so forth. Um, so that's that. Um, typical upgrade system where you take old creatures, uh, combine them into your creature to get them levels. Um, just shows you the rune system. Um, there's a skill system as well. Um, that you can also upgrade. I haven't, like I said, this is a closed beta, so I haven't gotten too deep into the game itself. I am in a guild. Um, this guild has a system where you can train your backup characters. So if you don't want to have a character in combat because they're too weak, you can put them in this training mode where they gain levels over time. Um, I haven't seen anything else to do with my guild other than that. Um, but I'm sure, like I said, this is kind of an early, uh, an early game here. I'm not gonna talk about that just yet because that's just a passive bonus, not super impressive. Um, <clears throat> last but not least, there are a few different modes that I don't have unlocked. The Ziggurat here is still coming soon. PVP opens up at level 15, I tried, but that's a far, I've been playing for a few hours and I'm only level 12. So I was pretty close, but like I said, the game, the closed beta ends today. So I don't really wanna dedicate too much time here. Um, tower invasions open up at level 18 and then an invasion which I do have unlocked, but I have not seen any invasions yet. Um, so that's basically the game. That is Air of Light. Um, I think this is a game that you can kind of be on the lookout for. I think it looks like a, this might be a pretty interesting hero collector. I, I will definitely take a look at it once it becomes globally launched, where I can actually dedicate some time into it and not feel like you know all my progress is being wasted. Um, so consider this video just a heads up to the future. Um, but that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, once again, I really like the way this character looks. I wish I could zoom in on her so you can see what she looks like. But this character back here is really neat. 
Like, I really like her design. You can actually switch it to whatever character you want, if you want to. Just so you can have, like, a little homie in the background. <laughs> but anyway, guys, that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Air of Light. I am FG3000, and I will see you guys next video. Later. Actually, just joking. Let's do some summons real quick, shall we? I mean, these gyms go away, so let's do some summoning. <laughs> so we can see what some of the other creatures look like. What is this gerbil-looking fire tank dude? What? All right, let's keep going. I really like her design. She looks like something out of Castlevania, like straight up. Oh, look at this blob thing. Oh, man, that that's out of Dragon Quest right there. <laughs> One more. Oh, wow, what is this thing? <laughs> what? Oh, wow, he looks disgusting. I love it. I love how disgusting he looks. Is there anything else I can summon? I have nothing else. I got three summon stones here. Let's see what else we can get. That's a duplicate of you. But a different color. Okay, so this game kind of uses that system where you can get the same character in fire, water, grass, that type of thing. <laughs> what? And you're using a spoon? <laughs> and you throw... It looks like an acorn. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, let's keep going. Another one of these guys. Is he going to be a different color? Yes, he is. So that's how this game works. So this is a blue one. Earlier, I got a green one. Um, so if you have a favorite character, but you don't have it in the element type that you want, um, just keep on summoning. You'll probably eventually get it. Um, can we do summon 10 times? Uh, all right. Let's skip these and go a little faster because these are lower level ones. There's another slime. What? <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. Everything is very interesting. Like, why are you dripping? Why are you dripping? Why are you naked? Uh, a wisp. Okay. Nothing too crazy there. More slimes. And another slime. All right. So I think I've completely summoned out. Can I do a tin summon? Not enough rare stones. But it's. Oh, I need stones and gold. Man, you guys are, you guys are stingy. All right, all right, so now I'm done. That is Air of Light. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next video. <laughs> Later.